she was part of a very popular group during the 90s that brought us many hits that put us on the dance floor. Join us in this episode of Rest in Peace as we pay tribute to Melanie Thornton. Melanie Janine Thornton was born on May 13, 1967 in Charleston, South Carolina. At age six, she began getting into music where she took voice lessons as well as learned how to play instruments such as the piano and the clarinet. Growing up, Melanie would mimic a lot of female singers she either watched on TV or heard on the radio, with two of those inspirations being Aretha Franklin and Roberta Flack. It was this music talent and dream that enabled Melanie to pay for college. For doing her youth, she would win talent contests and make appearances at small band concerts. There was even a time where she frequently visited a place known as the Peacock Lounge, where she would get on stage and perform with a live band that invited people up to sing. In February of 1992, she went to live with her sister in Germany, whose husband was stationed there in the U.S. Army. It's here where Melanie's uncle, who was a singer and a piano player, encouraged her to give the German nightclub circuit a try, where he told her that even on a bad night, she could make up to at least $150, compared to her good nights in the U.S., making just 50 So she tried it and found good work. At first, it consisted of providing guest vocals for singles, but she would eventually catch a break after one of her recordings titled Sweet Dreams caught the attention of Frank Farian. Yep, that guy who they call the mastermind behind the group, Millie Vanilli. But that's another story. So Frank took Melody, where he teamed up with Lane McRae to form the group duo we all know now as La Bouche. La Bouche went on to become one of the biggest groups worldwide during the 90s with many hits such as Sweet Dreams, S.O.S., and Be My Lover. Their music got tons of people on the dance floor. Melanie stayed with LaVouche until February of 2000 where she left to pursue a solo career. She kept providing guest vocals for many other talent singles until she signed a record with Sloney Epic Records. In November that same year, she released her first single titled Love How You Love Me. She then followed it up with songs such as Heartbeat before releasing her first solo album, Ready to Fly, on May 7, 2001. On the night of November 24, 2001, Melanie, after performing in Leipzig, got onto a Crosshair Flight 3597, which was heading to Zurich, Switzerland. There, she was scheduled for TV and radio appearances for the promotion of her single, Wonderful Dream. Tragically, she died along with 23 other people when the plane crashed in a wooded area near Zurich. Since her death, Coca-Cola's Germany division plays the commercial which features Melanie's song every year on Christmas Eve in Germany as a tribute to the great singer. Melanie Thornton is buried at the Mount Pleasant Memorial Gardens in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. She was 34 years old. I'm Psycho Rick saying until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>